I contacted a, a friend of mine, Pays, Pays164. He's a local uh, artist. And I said, hey, I want a wall. I want to paint a big painting on a wall. And so at first we were you know, a little skeptical, like, what are you thinking? What kind of art? And so he just brought some drawings in and some of the artists and said something like this. And we said, you know, the walls are just brown. They're sitting there. Why not? The gentleman who owns this shop was super excited when he saw work going down at Pat Furniture. They got the whole thing started. Once everybody saw our art on their building, Everybody else was like, yes, can we have one too, please? And so it started with one small section, and then two, then three, then four. Then he said, about a couple months later, can we do the other side? And the trailer, and the back. Uh, it's, we've really enjoyed it. It's been fun to see all the different uh, people coming by to see it, and just have some color in the neighborhood. It's been really nice. We have roughly 35 artists and 45 murals in uh, this little, little mile stretch of plat. So we actually did a really unique thing, the 719 Culture Fest, where we opened the store up and we brought a completely different uh, clientele in, which was very fun. So it was probably a lot of the 20 to 30 year olds that came in that loves art. And so we had, uh, to be a part of that was so special because we had, you know, <laughs> it was artists on the street, people doing live art. We had people come in and just show that some of their pieces individually, but it's been a really fun example of, of of being a part of the, not, not furniture really, but bringing people in to see the art in Colorado Springs. And I just love that we can be a part of that. The 719 Culture Fest was just a unique experience that we would not normally be a part of and it brought in very different people to be a part of it. And some artists that are local to us as well, they came in and displayed their art. So that was a great time. On uh, Platt Furniture, I did the woman on the, the backside with a large purple afro. And I've done this one here as well. Everybody welcome with Fannie Mae's sign at her, her, her slogan for her bar. And then we've always considered ourselves saying like everyone is welcome because we're super inclusive. It's been very positive for this area. It's a couple examples. One morning it came in, it was a mother and then three of her kiddos standing in there doing selfies. We had part of the police department come in and there was probably 40 to 50 people in the back doing a photo shoot. We've had a lot of senior photos coming down. And then of course, what do they do afterwards? They come in and come see flat furniture. So you would really on a daily basis, you see people come by and just doing you know, either it's a selfie or a family photo. So it's definitely brought people down to the store. Yeah, and to the whole area actually.